Hey YouTube, it's Maker Matt. Today we're going to be making a modern looking queen size floating bed frame. How hard could it be? I looked online for a bunch of designs for a floating uh, bed frame and uh, I saw some stuff. I didn't really like it. It seemed over engineered and over built. So I came up with my own. This is what I, I come up with. So I went out and bought um, eight two by eights and um, I'm making basically two boxes that are going to be on top of each other. So you'll have your base box, I already built that one, uh, and then a bigger box that'll sit on top of that one that'll hold the mattress. And you're going to build this without a uh, box spring. This is a no box spring build. So. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I cut these down. The, the size I'm making it is 62 inches lengthwise and 42 inches width wise for the base. And then I'm making it 82 inches, I'm sorry, 81 inches length for the sides, uh, the decorative sides and 61 inches wide and a uh, queen bed is 80 by 60 so I'm, I'm giving myself an inch which is, should be just enough to tuck uh, mattresses or um, duvets and comforters and whatnot into so um, I just bought cheap pine because this is going to be covered with a decorative um, board because if you got real wood that would be crazy expensive um, there the whole thing so far has cost me about 250 bucks and if you buy one of these online, they're easily for a queen, easily four hundred fifty dollars or so. Um, so, let's uh, build the second box, and I'll show you how I'm going to mount it to the bottom box. So the progress so far is I have the um, under frame. That's the smaller box. I have the bigger frame, <clears throat> and then I have some two by fours right here that run across for stability and then I decided I had this um, one by six uh, pine board and I'm gonna sister it to uh, these two for uh, so that they now go together so I'll sister these together at four points and then uh, with screws and that way it'll be able to be taken apart and that should be plenty sturdy most of the weight will be um, vertical on these. So uh, and e even if we're rocking side to side for some strange reason, it shouldn't really go anywhere. That's a lot of force. It would take a ton of force and I'm a pretty small person. So this is my girlfriend. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, um, and if it breaks, that will be super funny. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and sister that together and uh, you can see how much space there's gonna be around. There's eight and a half inches on this side and eight and a half inches on the other side for the floating effect. And then I put most of the space up front here for the floating effect. And I left a little gap here so that if for some reason the overhang is too much here, I can lag bolt uh, this part of the frame uh, into the wall, into some studs, and then uh, won't go anywhere. So let's, uh, I'm gonna sister those together. Let's take a look. The frame is built and uh, it's now flipped over. You can see the under part there. So when you look at it from pretty far back, you'll be able to see that it's floating. And just to illustrate how sturdy it is, Oh, this is me walking on the very edge of the frame, 180 pounds, <laughs> but it's not, whoa. it's not tilting or moving or anything. It's just, it's totally fine. It's really hard to do 
to film and walk on the edge of a two by four. Two by four. <clears throat> all right, so that's plenty sturdy. I won't need to be bolting that to the wall at all. There's no way that thing's gonna move. There's just there's just no way. I mean, if I if I step on it like that, it lifts up. But do you ever step on your bed like that? I haven't. And if it moves, I'll just bolt it down. But it's super sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So now I've got a bunch of one by twos that I'm gonna lay across here so that the mattress can sit in it. So let's get to that. I have the uh, one by twos in now to support the mattress. Um, I used a brad nailer to nail them down. Uh, they're spaced uh, five inches from here to here. And this one's four inches. So, I mean, I guess I could have done like four and an eighth all the way down, but that's stupid. It's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> so there's 10 of them. That's plenty of support. So. Uh, now I just need to make it look pretty. So you didn't think I was gonna leave it with just pine, did you? That looks stupid. So let's make it look pretty. I bought these uh, decorative wall planks. They're like, a, um, I think they're five and a half by uh, five sixteenths thick by 47 and a half inches long. And it's kind of a dark brown, kind of black. I think that'll look really good. Um, I, I got three. I might need to get another one. They're 25 bucks a piece, uh, a bundle. So, um, but that was all part of the 250 bucks I spent. So I'm going to just brad nail these to the um, face and of course to the top. So if these are five and a half inches, that means I have 11 inches of, um, board and I'll have um, I'll have to rip these down because it's only going to cover this is you know uh, seven and a half inches because uh, they're they're two by eights or seven and three quarter inches they're two by eights so I'll rip those down I'll have an extra couple of inches to uh, do the, the top part and I'll brad nail all that down. I could glue it and brad nail it, but uh, I don't know. If I don't like it, I want to be able to pull it off pretty easy. Uh, so I don't think I'll glue it because it's really, really hard to take glue stuff off. So um, let's get those on. I have the frame built out. Um, it's been a day because uh, I ordered this light strip yesterday on Amazon. And, uh, but I had most of the frame built out yesterday. So far, this project has taken me about eight hours. And I'm slow. I'm not that fast. I measure 10 times and cut once because I'm a ding dong and I always cut wrong. So I can see the, the lower box frame. Then I have it sistered. You can see these here. Uh, to the upper box frame. And then I have these one by twos for the mattress uh, to rest on. And uh, you have to have um, space for the mattress to breathe, just in case you're wondering, why don't you just put a piece of plywood? Um, the mattress needs to breathe because of reasons. I don't know why. Um, the, uh, the fascia that I used is okay. Started cupping. Uh, which was annoying. So I really had to pin nail it down. I used my smaller pin nailer uh, with 18 gauge uh, one inch nails and that helped, but I was a little disappointed in the quality of the stuff. It's, it was cupping and pushing out, but it looks good still. It's still nice. So um, I hooked up the lights. Um, and let's give it a test here. So you can see them there. I spaced them out about three inches from the inside. And they are, um, it was like $29 on Amazon, next day delivery. And I think they did great. It was perfect. It was like 16 feet, five inches. And it fit exactly right. Um, there is a step here. I had to go a few inches 
because of the, the way I put it. I had to pin nail uh, some scrap to there so I could put it up underneath and have something to attach it to. But it's gonna, what it does is it separates the way, the, the ground from uh, the, the bed. So it looks like it's floating. And you can change the color temperature so you can make it uh, warmer, natural, and then cold. And then it does this flashing thing, which is stupid. And it's also dimmable. So you can make it so it's not as bright and annoying. At nighttime, if you want to get a little funky. Get the, get the mood lighting just right, you know? So... Uh, but uh, yeah, it's come along really well. The bed frame is super heavy. It probably weighs over a hundred pounds. Um, just in case you were wondering, it is not light, but <clears throat> that's okay. Uh, it doesn't move. So, uh, I mean, you can slide it pretty easily. I put some felt sliders here so it doesn't mess up my, my hardwood floors. Um, and these things work great, you know, they're like $2. I might even double down a little bit just to give it a little extra cushion. Um, so I think it turned out great. Uh, I'll show you a completed, uh, uh, with the, with the bed on and everything in just a minute. Okay. And the bed is complete. So you can see the lighting gives that floating aspect. It's not as bright in real life as it seems in the video. So um, it actually blends nicely with the light in the room. Uh, so you can see uh, that's a queen size bed. And I think it turned out really nice. It cost me $250 uh, plus 25 for the lighting, 29 for the lighting, something like that. But I did buy a saw blade with that and uh, I probably didn't need the uh, extra 25 bucks for the uh, the siding, the cladding here, the black cladding. Uh, I bought three of them, I only needed two. I was thinking about uh, adding some. I might take it back though, because I, I don't think I really need it. I was thinking about adding some to the inside, but I don't think I really need it. <clears throat> Once the comforter's on, I think it's gonna look really good, so. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. It's not really a how-to, it's just some ideas on uh, what I did. Uh, uh, you know, on a scale of how hard could it be, I'd give this a six out of 10. The tools you need, you're gonna need an impact driver, you're gonna need a drill, you're gonna need some um, screws. Uh, you're gonna need wood, obviously. Um, I use two by eight which worked perfectly. It's the exact right height. You do need to get rid of your box spring. Um, and uh, you're gonna need a uh, compound miter saw and a table saw. So if you don't have those, you're not gonna be able to do this project. You definitely need uh, the compound miter saw, saw and the table saw because you had to rip, had to rip a bunch of things and, and you just, you just can't do it without those tools. But an impact driver and screws and, oh, pin nailer. That's definitely helpful. Uh, I don't know how else you would do it, but pin nailers are pretty cheap, especially with Harbor Freight. They're like $30 and of course you need an air compressor. But if, if, you're, if you're into building stuff, you probably have all those tools anyway. So, um, like I said, how hard could it be? Six out of 10. Not bad, took me about eight hours to do it total over two days, six, six hours one day, two hours the next. But the thing is solid. It's not, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna break. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like and subscribe. Uh, share it with a friend if you want to and uh, leave any questions or comments uh, if you have any. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.